In this video, we are going to create formulas in this table. Now, because we have this set up as an Excel table, it tends to react a little bit differently than if, we were, if this were just a normal data range um, in how it writes the formulas. So first, we can see that this table name is inventory. And I do this by clicking on the drop down. And if I select inventory, you can see what is highlighted. So we're going to write a couple of functions up here. The first one is going to be a simple sum. So I'm just going to start with equals sum and add my left parenthesis. I'm going to then just start typing inventory because that's the name of the range. And I'll double click that. And I will then enter a left bracket and we want to sum the quantity on hand. So I'll double click that and I'll put a final square bracket. And just close with a right parenthesis. I could also do the exact same formula just by equal sum and then highlight that row, or I'm sorry, that column, end with a parenthesis and it will write the exact same formula. But it's just another method of entering the data. So I went ahead and deleted that. Let's repeat and use a different function, and this time we will use min. And rather than trying to type it, I'm just going to select the data. And I did that quickly with the shortcuts of holding down the Control Shift key and pre pressing the down arrow. I'm going to use the right parenthesis and select and then hit enter. And it shows $1.20 is the lowest list price. We could go ahead and make that um, formatted as well. Now the thing that is nice about uh, the tables is if we add a column. So let's add a column called discount. I'm just doing that by typing here. And it goes ahead and formats the entire column in that particular manner. So our discount is going to be our list price. So I'm just going to type equal, click on list price, times 0.75, so just 75% of the list price. Notice how it is writing the function. So it puts an at sign, and then the column name, list price, and that is defined by this heading here. All right, so that's just a little bit on how to write formulas and how they appear a little bit differently in an Excel table than just a normal Excel data range.